got this uh, transformer all uh, ripped apart. I uh, woke up early this morning and uh, got all this set up because uh, the FedEx window said it was going to come between 10 and 12 and it's already uh, 4 in the afternoon. And it hasn't come yet, of course. But I've um, got it all taken apart to uh, just so when it comes in, I'll just throw it in the new insulator. Here's what the old one looks like. You see it has a clean shear right through it. I uh, put some Loctite on it temporarily, but um, that really can't hold back 14,400 volts, so I didn't even try to power it up. And uh, the uh, big bone of contention is when I ordered the replacement insulator, I uh, said that I also needed one of these ring terminals because this one has sheared off the coil the wire that comes out of the coil has sheared off and uh, they weren't too uh, I don't think we were too clear on the terminal like this terminal I think that they thought I needed this terminal on there so I'll have to wait for that to come in and see if they included it this design here has been around I think since the 1920s uh, with the uh, looks like a hanger this clips onto the inside of the transformer and then this uh, nut screws onto it. I have these all in Ziploc bags to keep them from becoming contaminated with dust. And here's inside the transformer. I have all this plastic on it to keep the uh, oil clean. Uh, I have uh, two German Shepherds and they just get hair everywhere. Inside, it's basically what's inside a pole transformer. The high voltage lead is supposed to connect on right there, but uh, it sheared off. And I have five gallons of mineral oil in a bucket, but I don't think it's going to come up to this. Uh, it says 25 oil. I don't know if that's 25 gallons. Um, See, and then the uh, tap configurations. See if I can do some configuring with the camera. So that's uh, 14,400 volts, 7,200 volts, 14,400 volts. So there's one, two, three, four coils. Uh, no, two coils, so four leads. They can get put in parallel or series. Um, parallel for 7,200 vo volts and uh, series for 14,400 volts. So I am debating on whether I should get this all set back up. If I should try to machine this. Uh, terminal back. It looks like they used some industrial crimper to get that flattened on there. So I don't know if I should try just to machine it or get one of these here which is from Lowe's and it's uh, definitely not an industrial grade one. So just see what happens when the UPS truck comes hopefully before five. It's been about another hour uh, the UPS has still not came. It's 5 p.m. They said they'd come by 12, which is quite hilarious. I was able to uh, straighten out this ring terminal, remove the old wire. Um, worst case scenario, then I'll just use this if a new one does not come in. It looks a little dodgy, but uh, at least it's made in the USA and not like the made in China aluminum crappy. Another look inside. If you watch how it's made, they do a document on, uh, or a film on this exact transformer, the same manufacturer, uh, ABB Power Partners. The only difference with this is I've never seen this before, but these coils in here are copper. You can see, I wonder how many amps those are good for. It's a good about an inch, inch across, 
maybe, I don't know, maybe a little less, maybe three-fourths, but a good uh, millimeter or two thick. It's very cool. I wonder how many amps that's good for. Certainly cannot push this transformer to the limits because if I put this on the main breaker of my house and shorted it out, it'd probably blow the transformer on the street out. It's massive. Unlike the uh, other 5 kVAs that I have, this is just madness. And when it took its tumble, when it broke, um, I don't know if it's going to be able to focus right. See that bolt all the way down there? It looks like it uh, got a little bent when this transformer fell. Let's see what Yeah, it looks a little bent in the hanger. It's a little, a little loose. Also, uh, you can see where this hanger is poking through. Right there. When it uh, fell, it got pushed in. And also the, uh, this here seems to be a little cocked inward. Um, for those who don't know, I purchased this on eBay from a company that uh, deals with insurance, I guess uh, shipping insurance damages or claims or whatever, and they did not know any, they didn't know anything about this uh, when they sold it, they really had no idea what it was used for, so they only sold it for 299 bucks. but uh, the MSRP on this transformer is several grand because of the aluminum inside. Um, when I went to ABB Power Partners to uh, order, try to order a new bushing, they sent me a document with the MSRP, and uh, it was several grand. I don't have it on me. It was on my old MacBook, which took a crap on me. Very disappointing, but you can see very well built inside. There's a tap changer. It's now uh, 6 p.m. and. Uh, EPS does not come. I have the uh, transformer oil here ready to be poured into the tank. Here's the insulator again. See, it's a clean break right in half. And a few uh, chunks. Right there. And those have uh, gone down into the tank, but um, I'm not going to be able to reach them out or reach in and pull them out. And here's a little something a little funky. There's an epoxy down there that seals this whole insulator as one piece inside that's broken let's see is that a force of the uh, fall bent the uh, eye hook there and this top cover here is slightly bent um, it's very warped it's only when it sits on the tank it uh, is about a few millimeters off on the back side where it fell backwards. It's a very huge insulator. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll just use it for a collection piece. Okay, well, the new one just came in, and uh, yeah, and uh, it's the same, but uh, it has a very long. Uh, extension lead and fortunately they did give me a new terminal which is very good I'm very happy about that uh, I'm not even gonna fuss with uh, cutting this and stripping it I'm just gonna coil it up or something and shove it down in there uh, get that all sorted out okay I just got the uh, insulator replaced and uh, filled it with oil and actually the five gallons I actually brought it right up to that oil line, uh, which is right there. So it's right on level. Fantastic. I'm just going to zip tie this extra lead up here. 
and uh, put that down in the center in the oil here keep it all insulated that's actually very handy with the extra loop um, the other one had this you know how am I going to uh, use that and finagle on the cap but uh, fantastic